in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o heavens rain from above praise be to god and welcome to shema o israel listen o israel the awakening of the mind and the soul we read a word proclaimed by prophet isaiah in chapter 45 verse 8 shower o heavens from above and let the skies rain down righteousness let the earth open that salvation may spring up and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also i the lord have created it this is the word of the lord we are in pain and nobody looks at us we are in tears and nobody dries us o lord from the heavens let your mercy flow into us the gospel of matthew 5:45 clearly explains to us so that you may be children of your father in heaven for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous we are cold and nobody covers us we are the hunger and nobody feeds us we are in the desert and we are the drought we read in the scriptures how prophet amos is warning us through this powerful word in chapter 4 verse 7 and i also withheld the rain from you when there were still 3 months to the harvest i would send rain on one city and send no rain on another city one field would be rained upon and the field on which it did not rain withered the right is and gracious acts of god for his people shall be so many as if god rained showers of righteousness out of heaven open itself to bring forth these fruits which may be expected from such showers the heavens and the earth conspiring together together with salvation we read in the gospel of matthew 7:25 the rain flood that came and winds blew and beat upon the house but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock we must not expect salvation without righteousness together the lord has created them let not oppressors oppose god's design for his people let not the poor oppressed murmur as if god dealt unkindly with them men are but earthen pots they are broken pot hurts and are very much made so by mutual contentions in the book of leviticus 26:4 we read I will give you rains in their season and the land shall yield its produce and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit We are the darkness and nobody guides us We are the chains and nobody loosens us We are the winds and nobody hears us The Bible says in Deuteronomy 32:2 May my teaching drop like the rain my speech condense like the dew like gentle rain on grass like showers on new growth Let us turn God's promises into prayers beseeching him that salvation may abound among us and let us rest assured that the judge of all the earth will do right In Proverbs 16:15 the word speaks to us very strongly In the light of a king's face there is life and his favor is like clouds that bring the spring rain In the Bible rain is often used to symbolize a blessing 
a blessing from God. In both conditional blessings for obedience as well as part of God's common grace. Not always, but sometimes. Other times, rain is used to punish as in the historical narrative of Noah. To conclude, Prophet Hosea in 1012 breaks all barriers with this striking warning. Shema, O Israel. Listen, O Israel. So your righteousness, yourselves, reap steadfast love, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. Hallelujah. This is Anand Joseph for Kadosh Marian Ministries.